Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading as the energy check-in for water signs for the coming week. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Too many. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm gonna tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. So if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share and comment, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. Now, this is the reading for all of you water signs. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot and Judgment. New beginning is starting in your life or about to start. And I feel in the past, before this Ace of Pentacles, you were stagnant for a very long time in a place and you couldn't move. Like things stayed in a stagnation for a very long time for you till the point that you felt that it will never move. Well, now after this Ace of Pentacles here, Life is changing. And with this chariot in the middle, life will fly changing. The change will be very fast. And you will reach where, where you want to reach way faster than you think with this chariot sitting here in the middle. You will be victorious and strong and the de determination here is very obvious on your face. This judgment here is telling you, dear, that you did your work and you learned your lessons. Maybe you stayed stuck for a very long time in a place because that was necessary for you to learn what you need to learn. And during this journey, in this transformation and new beginning, you will understand why that stagnation in the past was there. During this change, you will find that you learned so many things, so many even small things will help you in this new beginning. You didn't think at that time that you are learning this stuff that sometimes you will never never pay attention to after you will start here you will recognize how important this small stuff that you learned about and you analyzed during that stagnation time is important for this new journey congratulations my dear what's coming your way is something very beautiful get ready to this new beginning today i'm gonna start with cancer Three cards for you, three cards for your person or the energy that you're dealing with. I was about to stop after these two cards because I felt that there is something not really positive is coming. From your side, the High Priestess, the Four of Wands and the Moon. From this person's side, the Two of Cups, the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands. As you know, these two are the most powerful couple in this deck, in Teru. You have the High Priestess and they have the Hierophant. This is a very spiritual, grounded, open-minded, high intuitive individuals or energies dealing with each others. 
in this situation, as long as you are the high priestess and they are the heroine, there is no secrets here. It doesn't matter how hard you will try to hide informations from each other's. It will never work. You two read each other's as an open book. You are in the high priestess and I believe here you are trying to hide your feelings. While this person is more open and they are holding the two of cups, they are very open to the idea of loving you and wanting you in their life. While you are wanting but not showing. This person is wanting and showing. Then we move to the four of wands, which is the energy of a long-term relationship or marriage and they are holding the the hierophant both of you wanting the same thing then you're holding here the moon energy you are very secretive about this feeling inside you cancer you are trying to hide it and I believe you have a kind of a fear inside you, not only about hiding. You are afraid of something. And I believe with this high priestess and the moon, you are afraid of opening up. You don't know if it's a good idea to put your guards down, to share what you feel, to share your fears, your hopes, your dreams. It's not only about sharing the idea or the thing that I love you or you love me. With this high priestess here, Cancer, you stayed for a very long time fearing and dreaming and planning and living inside you alone. You don't share with anyone, even if you have a million person around you. You don't share your fears. You don't share your dreams. Everything is very secretive for you. You plan alone. And you dream alone. And you get scared alone. While on top, on the surface, you show nothing. Based on this energy about between the Hierophant and the High Priestess, you know, as a fact, if you will come close to this person, you will open up because this person reads you without you even talking. And you can feel this from now, even before you come, even before you are in a real relationship with this person or a long-term relationship. I'm sorry, I'm talking uh, as a drunk person. I don't know why. The words are not really coming clear from my mouth. Just give me a second, please. It's still very early morning here, and I didn't have any drinks, I, I promise. You know that you have to open up because this person knows regardless if you will talk or you will not and this is stopping you my feeling from really getting close to this person and you are taking so many other excuses because you don't want to reach this point where you have to share because you stayed for a very long time not sharing and i i don't know if you know how to share after all this time. This is a scale you will learn and you have to learn if you will come close to this person. This energy of being secretive and pulling away is hurting this person. Because as I told you, you read each other's as an open book. This person knows how you feel and what you want and you know how they feel and what they want. But you are, you are hiding this, not wanting to open, but while this person is very ready to open up and they are telling you everything 
clearly from in and out. This person from inside is exactly as outside. You are not. You are from inside the total opposite of outside. And this energy that you're staying in is hurting this person. Because they waited, it seems, for a very... They have the Ten of Wands here. This person is very burdened from this situation. Let's see the outcome. The Ace of Swords. The reason I believe this person will come to you and open up. This person will not stay like this anymore. And I think this person will tell you, this is the deal. Take it or leave it. The decision will be yours. With this Ten of Wands here, this person is not ready anymore to wait for you to decide to be open to them. This person will tell you in words what you feel from them and what they are showing you in reality. And the decision is yours. Either you go with them all the way or you drop the situation. Think about that, Cancer, because this is coming. So prepare your answer. You cannot run away this time. Scorpio. This is you. And this is the person or the energy that you're dealing with. You have the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. This person, the Hanged Man, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Cups. You wanted something from a very long time, but when this something will come to you, you will be terrified. You were in the past very determined towards this person while this person was hanged somewhere and they were really, they felt your energy and I believe you felt their energy. Both of you were interested but this person was not in a hurry at all. I don't feel this person was hanged in, the situ in a situation and they cannot leave. This person was showing the energy of a hanged man as if they are stuck somewhere because they don't want to deal with anything. They are showing people that I am stuck in a place, so don't come close. While this person was being in the hanged man was a very convenient energy for them. They were in the hanged man by choice. And you were very determined, but this person was not cooperating with you. And you tried holding this new beginning, waiting for them. But this person, I think, Scorpio, you are a very intuitive sign. And with this king of wands on top here, This king of wands is determined and strong, yes, but they are intuitive as well. They read people very easy. They don't need a long time to read people. You knew that this person is hurt and they are hanging themselves here or showing people that they are hanged because they are not ready to open up to anyone. And by time, you start to accept the idea that this is, will never happen. So, you were still holding this 
Ace of Wands of that passionate new beginning that you wanted with this person. But you, deep inside you, you believed or you start to believe that this is will not happen. Like I'm holding my wands here, waiting, but I'm sure that this is will not happen. In the near future, this is will happen. This person will take the decision that they want you in their life. And the surprise is, when this person will come to you, you will find out that you are not ready. It seems that the determination that you had here was very strong based on you feeling that this person is not ready. So you were convincing yourself that you are wanting this and you are pushing as hard as you can because they are not moving. And they don't want it. So you were trying to convince yourself that you are open and ready for something new in your life, but it's not working. Now it's working. And this is the time to face your fear. This person in the near future, I don't know how long this will take, will come to you calling you in. This person, while they are hanged here, they were watching everything. And they found out that you are a very interesting and loyal and strong energy. And dealing with you will be very safe because this person stayed for a very long time watching and analyzing and studying you till they came to the conclusion that you are safe so they will come at that time you will be in the nine of swords because here you were very relaxed almost hundred percent sure that they are not coming now the surprise happened what you will do prepare yourself because this is coming your way prepare yourself i'm feeling almost the same energy like cancer Prepare yourself and start to deal with the situation as if it's happening and find your way out of this. So you will be ready when this person will come. You will not waste a chance. Let's see the outcome. The seven of wands. Who is this? You? It seems this is an energy of a week. It seems for the time being, this is the energy between you and them. Defensive energy. Guards are up. But this is, a, this is coming. This is happening. Get ready, Scorpio. Sometimes we feel that we are healed. But when we face a reality... We will recognize that you, we are only healed like we didn't have that practical heal because everything you study, it's like a test. Everything you study, you have to do a test to find out did you learn or not. Now you think that you learned. This is the test to prove if you learned really to open up or not. So study harder. The test is coming. Pisces. This is your person. I don't know if this is a soulmate or this is someone coming to you from the past. There is two stories here. 
Maybe it's someone from the past or maybe new. This person was holding the page of, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles towards you while you were closed off, thinking in a different place. You didn't even realize that this person is waiting here. You were so busy in what you have in mind. And you were closing your heart and your eyes, not wanting even to see anyone around you because you were in a very painful place, I believe, and there was an urgent need to take a decision, either to stay or to leave. And I believe you took the decision to leave, but you were waiting to, to find out what is the way, which way to go. And I believe you are leaving this in the past. And because it took you a very long time to take that decision or to get rid of this unpleasant energy, you came full of hopes that you can catch up with life after that long time. This person is in the Six of Cups energy. This is a soulmate energy, or maybe for some of you, this is someone from your past Maybe you didn't have a relationship with them in the past, not a real one, but they're coming, wanting to reconnect with you. You will come to them after all that period of stagnation in the past with this page of pentacles here and with this chariot, you will, you want to go fast. You want, as I told you, you want to catch up with life. You want everything on the spot. You don't want to waste more time from your life. And I believe this came really, this fast energy put this person in a conflict. You scared them. So they pulled away and they are in the conflict now. Okay, they want you, they want to start something with you, but they don't want to go that fast. Your pace is so fast for them. They want to start something real with you, but go in this situation step by step, not like you with this chariot here. And I believe because you tried to go fast and this person stopped you or pull away, you, you want to flip or you are about to flip to this chariot energy very cold. If this situation didn't happen yet, because this is something will happen in the future, or maybe it happened, if it didn't happen, this card is telling you as an advice, gather your strength. Don't move based on reactions from the past. Let the past in the past and start new and fresh the right way. Don't go from very, very slow to very, very fast. Go on the regular pace in this situation. If you will not jump towards this person, this situation has a very good potential to be something real and beautiful. Don't let the past control the future. Take it easy with this person and go step by step and get to know them slowly so you build strong. If you will build fast, the foundation will not be as strong at, as it should be. Gather the strength to, lo to learn the lesson and live normally. Don't let the past push you to ruin the future. Because this speed will scare this person. Because sometimes, and this is reality, when we go fast in something, jumping fast, 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 that means we are immature. Ground your energy and deal with this situation 
in a mature way. Being very slow means that you are scared and being very fast means you are not ready. The right speed will take you to the right place at the right time. If you are slow, you will be there late and you will lose your chance because situations, energies between people is all about timing. If you are late and slow, if you are slow, you will reach late and you will lose your chance. And if you are fast, you will reach early and you will lose your chance as well. It's all about timing. The right energy at the right time. This is a relationship. Let's see. The Eight of Cups. I don't know. I will take one more card. Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands. Somebody is defensive and the other one is leaving. This is the result of this. Nothing is set in stone with energy. This is the outcome for what we are seeing here. This is the advice. If you will follow this advice, none of this will happen. Because, as I told you, the right, at, in the right place at the right time. This is energy. We can change it any second if we change our mindset and our idea and we took the decision that we want to change. Well, that's what I have for you, my friends. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thank you so much for all the love and the support. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.